So, are you facing the error 0x887a, whatever that is, DXGI error device hung error in Apex Legends? Well, this game is notorious. This error keeps coming back every time the game gets a major update and since it got another major update just a few days ago, the error is back again for numerous gamers. Now this error is very manufacturer specific, so if you have an AMD GPU, you might not face this error. This error specifically turns up for only NVIDIA GPU users like the 3080 or maybe the 2080 Ti or users rocking a GPU like that. And the fixing steps are quite complex, like you need to get down an edit and registry key, repair the game files that is going to take a lot of time, revert your overclocking settings which you might not like to do, and roll black GPU drivers which it might just take away important features like the one Nvidia recently added, whatever that is. So let's start with the first one, the very classic update your gpu graphics drivers and this might solve the issue to be honest you can go and search for geforce experience you can also download the software links will be in the description if you do not have it so you can head over to this driver section and you can search for check for updates as you can see i'm in the latest nvidia studio driver but you should be using the game ready driver version if you do not have it so you can hit the download button and that will start the download for this driver once it is complete downloading you should go for custom installation instead of express installation custom installation will do a complete reinstall of the driver and the experience will be the best after it the next fix is to configure physics x from nvidia control panel so open up and search for nvidia control panel and then open the nvidia control panel up now head over to 3D settings and move to configure surround, physics x. Now in this tab you will find an option called physics x settings and set the physics processor to your graphics card. For me it is a 3070. Now just apply the settings and you will be done. Your game should work now. Next, you would also like to try out running the game as an administrator. This has fixed the issue for several gamers and we think it should work for you too. So right click on the game and click on properties then move over to the compatibility tab. Now hit run this program as an administrator from there and hit apply and click on ok. Now the game should run as administrator hit yes whenever it prompts and the game should launch. If it does not, move over to the next fix. The next thing that you can do is to update the DirectX version on your computer. So hit Windows plus R at the same time and search for DXDIAG or DXDIAG. A window will pop up and it will show that current DirectX version on your system. For me, you guys, as you can see, it is a DirectX 12. Now, DirectX 12 is the latest version of DirectX, but if you are on something older, you would like to update the version of DirectX from Windows Updates. So head over and search for Settings, then go to the Windows Update tab. From there, if you have any updates, it should show up like this and you can just hit Install now to let the updates install on your system. Now if all of these steps fail, you would want to edit some registry files. So hit Windows plus R and search for REGEDID or REGEDID and hit enter. It should open up a panel that looks something like this. Now you would want to navigate to the specific folder. So go over to HK local machine and from there to system and from there to current control set and from there to control and from there to graphics driver. A few files should open up like this. So you would want to search for something like TDR delay. By default it should be at 3C in hexadecimal or 6T in decimal. Now the way this TDR delay works is that if your graphics card driver fails due to some reason, it will restart the driver so that your computer can go on working fine. The delay is the time after which the graphics card drivers are restarted. So it is at 60 which means it will get restarted after 60 seconds or a minute. But we would like to reduce this delay so that it gets restarted as fast as possible. Something like 8 seconds should do fine. Now in case you do not see the TDR delay registry file, it means that you do not have the TDR delay which is causing Apex Legends to not open up. So for 32-bit windows you would like to open a D word 32-bit value and for 64-bit windows you would like to open a Q word 64-bit value. Since I have a 64-bit windows, I am opening a 64-bit. Now just name this TDR delay but since I already have the TDR delay registry file, windows will not let me create another one of the same. Now for the last step, let us repair the files so that if there are any corrupt files that is causing the issue, it can get fixed. So if you have the game installed from Steam, open up Steam, 
So I'll just type stream and hit enter and then move over to library and open up FX Legends. From there you would like to go over to properties and then to local files. Now hit verify integrity of game files and let steam do its work. After it has done your game should work just fine. Don't forget to like the video if it helped you and subscribe for more videos like this.